next topic natin is about a block diagram representation of electrical system in this section let us uh, represent an electrical system with a block diagram electrical system contain uh, mainly three basic element resist resistor inductor and capacitor so consider series of RLC circuits as shown in the following figure where uh, BI T and BOT are the input and output voltage so let IT be the current passing through the circuit the circuit is a time domain so meron tayong diagram ng uh, RLC circuits So, RLC circuits. So, na-discuss na natin to. So, balikan lang natin na konti. So, so itong circuit na to, ang equivalent uh, differential equation model niya is using the uh, method of differential method of DE. So, using KBL. Uh, Kirchhoff's uh, voltage law. So, yung voltage input is equal to the sum ng uh, voltage drop across the circuit. So, B I uh, function of T. Uh, ayan, B I sa function of T. Ito is equal sa uh, I times R uh, times uh, plus Uh, LDIDT uh, plus BOT so yung IR is voltage yan so KBL so meaning 4 volts dapat to BR then voltage across inductor is uh, L times uh, change in current over time so BL ito plus Uh, BOT is the voltage across the capacitor so using the Laplace so ngayon uh, differential equation naka time domain while ito naman is uh, by applying the Laplace transform to the circuit you will get the circuit in S domain Uh, the circuit is is as shown in the following figure. Uh, so, we convert natin sa uh, LTI system or LTI system. So, by using Laplace transform, so uh, so na discuss natin yung pag convert ng differential equation to LTI system using Laplace transform. So, balikan nyo lang yun. Pero, i-discuss natin ng konti. So, so yung equivalent uh, differential equation model niya, using Laplace transform, magiging siyang uh, VI S is equals to uh, IR plus ito L, uh, first derivative is uh, magiging siyang L I S S I S S I S plus B O S So ang next equation niya may isang B I S yung I is may gitong I of S di ba So, dapat balikan nyo yung pag-convert ng differential equation model to LTI system using Laplace transform. While itong first derivative is may ka siyang SLIS is equals to yung BOT may ka siyang BOS.
So, yung uh, next is, equation is, yung BO, transfer natin sa kabila. So, maging negative. So, BIS minus BOS uh, is equals to, so, since common yung IS, ito, pwede natin ilabas IS uh, quantity R plus SL. So, equate natin sa current. So, IS is equals to BIS minus BOS uh, over R plus SL. So, ito naman, uh, yung current across the capacitor, di ba yung current across the capacitor, I is equals to uh, C times change in uh, voltage over change in time. So, using the Laplace transform, bagay itong IS. Di ba, IS is equals to S. So, first derivative, so magiging siyang SBOS times C. So, BOS is equals to uh, IS over SC. So, itong BOS na to, ito din yan. Pero hindi pinakita yung current na IS. Ito yung IS na yan is ito. Uh, current flowing here current flowing through the circuit is IS so ito rin yan same lang yan so dapat meron siyang IS So, from the above circuit, we can write. So, uh, compute natin yung current. I of S is equals to BIS. BIS minus BOS over R. Plus SL. So, IS. So, ito rin yan. So, same lang yan dito. Then, yung BOS. Ito is voltage across the capacitor. Ito. Yung uh, pinakita natin yung pagkuha. So, let us now draw the block diagram for these two equations individually. Then, com combine those block diagrams properly in order to get the overall block diagram of the series of RL RLC circuit as domain. So, we can write... So, equation 1 can be implemented with a block having a transfer function of uh, 1 over SL. So, ito yung equation 1. The point, uh, the input and output of this block are BIS minus BOS and IS. We require the summing point BIS minus BOS. The block diagram equation is shown in the following figure. So, pag makakita ka ng positive and negative, so, meaning, summing point yan. So, sa previous discussion natin, ito siya, di ba? Yung may plus and minus. So, magkakaroon siya ng summing point. Well, yung B in and B out, Yung B in, the input signal, tapos meron siyang output, output na negative BOS. So, pagpapasok siya dito, so, may siyang BIS minus BOS. So, i-add mo lang yung, uh, add mo lang. So, nakuha na natin to. Nakuha mo na to. Nakuha mo na yan. 
So remember, ang input signal pag pumasok sa isang block ay i-multiply lang natin. So ito, multiply lang natin. So ito yung uh, transfer function. So pag pumasok siya, i-multiply natin. So mock So yung product niya is yung output IS. So nakuha natin to. So nakuha natin siya. So yan yung uh, block diagram representation ng formula na to. Next is uh, i-discuss natin tong uh, equation na to. So i-convert natin to equation to into a block diagram. So uh, yung transfer function natin is 1 over SC. Then tig multiply sa I of S. So meaning Uh, so tig multiply siya so meaning ito yung input so is ito yung input so tig multiply siya sa sa 1 over sc so remember sa previous discussion natin pag pumasok ang signal sa isang block i multiply lang natin so ito magiging siyang ganto so yung product nila nitong nito saka ito is the output signal. So, ito na yung uh, block, uh, block representation nitong equation. So, ngayon, kung mapapansin nyo, yung IS, saka ito, sa, yung IS ng equation 1, then yung IS ng equation 2, is the same. So, pwede natin siyang i-combine. So, Abasahin muna natin. So, equation 2 can be implemented with a block having a transfer function of 1 over SC. So, the input and the output of this block are IS and BOS. The block diagram of the equation 2 is shown in the following figure. So, ito. So, so ngayon, kung i-combine natin siya, So, ito yung sa equation 1, while ito yung sa equation 2. So, equation 2 can be implemented with a block having a transfer of 1 over SC. The input of the block are IS and BOS, the block diagram of Equation 2 is shown in the following uh, figure. Diba sa equation 1, uh, meron siyang uh, negative BOS. So kung babalikan natin, meron siyang negative BOS sa equation 1. So ito meron siyang negative BOS. So, ito na yung uh, negative feedback. So, ito na yung negative feedback. Nito. So, itong BOS na to, babalik. Pupunta siya sa saming point. So, ito na siya, negative BOS. Tapos, yung IS, combine natin. So, magiging siyang ganto. So, ito. So, yung BOS, bumalik. So, kung i-analyze natin, so pag pumasok siya sa saming point, may isang BIS minus BOS. So, pag pumasok naman to, yung signal dito sa block na to, mumultiply lang natin siya. So, may isang BIS minus BOS over the over R plus SL. Then, since common yung IS sa equation 1 and equation 2, so pwede natin pagsama. So, pinagsama na natin. So, So, input signal na IS is uh, input signal na IS So, multiply din natin 1 over SC 
is equal sa BOS. So, yung IS na to, ito siya. Di ba? Ito siya, yung IS. So, i-multiply lang natin. So, tandaan mo lang pag uh, pumasok ang signal sa isang block. I-multiply mo lang. So, the overall block diagram, the overall block diagram of the series RLC circuit as the main is shown in the following figure. So, ito na siya, yung uh, overall block diagram ng RLC circuits. So, summary, similarly, you can draw the block diagram of any electrical circuit or system uh, just by following this simple procedure. Convert the time domain electrical circuit into S domain electrical circuit by applying Laplace transform. Then next is write down the equation of the current passing through all the series branch elements and voltage ac across all shunt branches. The next is uh, draw the block diagram for all above equation individually. Then combine all these block diagrams pro properly in order to get the overall block diagram of the electrical circuit in, is do in S domain. So, ginawa natin yung uh, process. So, sinunod natin itong process na to sa pag-convert ng uh, sa pag-convert ng differential equation model to block diagram using Laplace transform.